Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Buffy here, joined by. What up, guys? It's David here, and we've also got. And. Paul. From and... the Crystal Maze. <laughs> Kev, not from the Crystal Maze. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> You've just fucking trolled Steve twice now. <laughs> So we were like, we're not going to do another podcast because um, it's really late. And then we started talking about movies casually. And uh, what were you saying about Jennifer Lawrence? <laughs> that her being the sole focus of the X-Men movies really, really pisses some people off. And I'm one of those very short people. And the reason we're talking about this is because it's just came to my attention from D. Stobes right here that, um, <laughs> that Jennifer Lawrence Yo. has signed on for X-Men Dark Phoenix or yes. what's it, is it called Dark Phoenix? Dark, Dark Phoenix, Phoenix Dark yeah. Phoenix yeah, yeah. it's too it's soon it's too cast soon of actors that they could be using like Michael Fassbender and James oh, McAvoy well, yeah, yeah, and all, all of these guys and they stand yeah. out so much as well like, which just, just makes it so much more painful when yeah, you see they could be making such good use of all of these guys. Yeah. What she's saying is that uh, during an interview she said that she wanted to repri- reprise the role. I bet she did. All those she monies. Want, she didn't want to leave the character story un- unfinished. The exact wording is my contract was up. I didn't have to do another one. But if I, I wish didn't, didn't do another one, what would her story be? I felt like I owed it to the fans and I owed it to the character to follow you don't. her journey. <laughs> to be fair to the movies and not be like, I don't want to do another X-Men. And then I just never show up, and everyone's very confused. But you Mystique. know what the great thing about Mystique is, is that she's a fucking films. shapeshifter. You could recast that, yeah. well, and it saves you an absolute it. fortune as well. Like, I mean, well, yeah, in uh, first, first class, class they bring they, in Rebecca yeah. Romikin, or however you say it. I was not even going to try to pronounce it. Ramekin, it, was, it intimidates me, like seeing her in her underwear. It just intimidates me. Rebecca oh. Romain. Right. Yeah. Okay. Her. Yeah, that one. Yeah. So you've got the shapeshifter. I would be scared you've of you in got... your underwear. <laughs> You've got this like Hollywood A-lister Jennifer Lawrence who's costing you a fortune to have in this film. And forcing you to rewrite the character. In a you're different you're way. having to change yeah. what the character really is. She's an assassin. She's a bad guy with sometimes good moments, but she's a bad guy. And you're having her be the hero, the focus of the heroes. And it's, it's criminal, if, if you ask me. In the comics, before Secret Wars Battle World happened, Mystique had a chance... To, I can't remember if it's avert the whole thing or resurrect Wolverine. It was one of the two. But because she's Mystique and it didn't serve her purposes, she didn't do it. Have you read it? Do you know what I'm talking about? I haven't, about? no. It's, it's the Secret from, Wars. It's from the Wolverine's storyline that comes after Wolverine died. After Which death time? of Wolverine. <laughs> the one where he, <laughs> yeah, 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 he's yeah. gone completely. Is that when he becomes adamantium? He's encased in adamantium, yeah. Um, and it's, it's about all the characters and his legacy. So you're talking Sabretooth. Uh, Dickin, uh, X-23, all of them. And she's basically leading this expedition to try and... I think it's to try and resurrect him. I can't remember. She gets, is. Yes. Yeah. She gets to the end, has the opportunity and says, no, nah, because it's not for serve, me, guys. It doesn't serve her yeah. purpose. So Which is her character. That is her character. She is tea. completely selfish and was portrayed better in the original films. You know, when she was like totally just, she served my. In a, in a way, though, she, they nah, did kind of shit on that in the very, very great film, The, the Last, Last Stand. Stand. I mean, where she's betrayed by Magneto because yes. she's been left without yeah, her powers. It's like, oh, it's woman scorn and all this yeah, kind of stuff. So, yeah, so, but then that film itself, we could just not talk about because. It was okay. Don't. It had some great moments in it. That wasn't one of them. There were some kind of cool, cool scenes when. When Magneto throws a car and it gets lit on fire, of there's little cool bits. But you then, know. if you're going to have a super Game of Thrones, yeah, in that it was great spectacle, shit writing. You're always going to have really great moments, writing. even in some really shit movies. Uh, even Spider-Man Three wasn't without some charm. Not the finger guns, not the emo, <laughs> not, the, not the emo Peter Parker, none, none of the dancing, none of the jazz, none of that. You take all that out of oh. the film, it instantly goes from a one to maybe a four. It's, um, Imagine, imagine my upset at taking, <laughs> convincing my girlfriend at the time and her girlfriend to come with me and watch Spider-Man 3 based on the fact that the first one was pretty freaking good, the second one was even better, out even though world. Out of this Tony world. Maguire sucks a big, big fat dick as Spider-Man, he was awful, hated him You have for him it. be the worst part about it, but it still doesn't matter because the films are so phenomenal. And the rest of the cast are also phenomenal. And I got finger guns. 
Yeah. I got Emo Parker and Finger Guns. Yeah, and finger Look, and looking in the looking at his reflection in the mirror, changing his own wee cliff and then Not giving really. it the old finger guns is it's so work it though. If that film had been better, I reckon I would have I would have I would have triple teamed that night. High five yourself. That is how bad that film was. That it, film ruined it, a threesome for me, I'm sure. That's, that's not why I hate it, but. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can hate it for your own reasons, but that's why I hate it. I feel like you've got ulterior motives. I just hate it as a film. You hate it because it kind of cuckled you. you know? And I hate Mystique It was a bad film too. Yeah, so yeah, coming back around to. I don't, I don't the like, X-Men universe I haven't seen films. Apocalypse I yeah. still can't comment fully but from what I've seen of marketing and things like that she's portrayed as she is the central focus <sighs> yep. she, she's she the catalyst about all. it uh, Storm idolises her um, mm-hmm. yeah. yep. you've got her son in the comics but not really in the movies a Nightcrawler who is rescued by her it's not in any way addressed why he's blue and furry and she's Sort of furry, but somewhat blue. But she's only blue for like five minutes of the film. Is Nightcrawler in Apocalypse? Yes. Yeah. 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 He fights Angel. Yeah. They're in a this. cage fight. It's one of the best parts oh, of the film. I didn't know that. Yeah. I did. yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's a nice wee cage match between the two of them in an electrified fence. Why he can't just teleport out of it makes no sense. They don't address it at all. Maybe he's just scared. I think they did mention something about it. Plot, <laughs> but <laughs> reasons. <laughs> I found it really confusing. Not confusing. It was com- it was confusing to me why she was the main star of Days of Future Past. Yeah. Because yeah. in first class, because she's the she biggest draw to the market. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. That's she wasn't Hugh Jackman, no. He's still out showing her. So Hugh but Jackman, he's going to. right? It's still X Men universe. How? How are they going to get around exactly. him not being Wolverine anymore? Because they're not going to leave Wolverine as a character on the shelf for too long. The thing is, no, Dark they, Phoenix... You've seen what they're like with uh, with Spider-Man. Yeah, they've gone the... through three iterations in about six years. This, is the, this is the first class storyline. So Wolverine dipped into it, but the first class really stuff there. is all set before he's yeah. met... Um, by the X-Men. Yeah, but I mean, like, more so, going forward. Well, like, you've not gonna, seen. They're going to bring Wolverine back in some sort of film. But without. You've Hugh not Jackman, seen the best oh, cameo. Do it? Though, that's oh, the thing. That's when he helps the kids in the. Yeah, actually, prison, you but... see Weapon X. Like, spoiler alert. Jesus yeah, Christ. You actually see him as Weapon X. Weapon X, complete with a fucking headgear and everything. Oh, just going berserk. Man. And it's it's so crim. Like, it's a great scene, but it's brutalised by the fact that it's a 12A film. There's no blood. You're seeing, you you actually see him cutting these dudes down. It's brutal. It's everything you've seen in the Logan film, but without the blood. I need to watch Logan. And it's only a few minutes. Yeah, I mean... Watch what? Logan again. Oh, yeah. You you take that whole scene, probably is the best scene of the whole movie, and it's a fucking cameo. Mm. It doesn't really serve the purpose of... It's cameo in this... (laughs) Go fuck yourself. It might not be the best scene of the whole movie. The best scene might have been when they make you think that Magneto oh. and Apocalypse are going to throw down. Every every time that Michael Fassbender's on the camera, you could probably call that the best scene, though. He is, He's so fucking He carries good. the film, and that's almost a disservice to Non-American James McAvoy. Always good. That's, that's almost the, like, it's, it's a disservice to James McAvoy because he is also phenomenal in his role as well. But Fassbender's Fassbender is different, different class. He's the he's only thing first that, class, out of maybe. Prometheus and Alien Covenant as well. That. He's the only thing that salvages I anything for those. I mean, they're don't both talk still about that. poor films. Don't yeah. Want to talk about that. yeah, but, yeah, but Alien's been gar- the whole that franchise has been going downhill steadily for decades. But it's he's the only the first thing. Two films were good. How do you follow up from that? Yeah. yeah. But he's the only thing that salvages any shred of any credibility no from doubt, the last yeah. two Absolutely. films. I've yeah. not seen Covenant yet, and I'm I am not going wait to till watch it. Wait till it's free to view somewhere. It won't be long. <laughs> It'll be about two weeks probably at this rate. It's shite. It's heartbreakingly shite. There I are, wanted it to be great. Numerous places online you can source it. No, you can't. <laughs> 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 you, can you hear that wink? <laughs> <laughs> Wink for with a an small eye. Fee. <laughs> oh. from various legi- legitimate sources where you can source it for a small fee. And that is the only way I would even choose to watch it. Of course. Because you're not a pirate, you're a buff geek. Arr! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jennifer Lawrence has made the Mystique character really, really important when she was basically a henchman in the first trilogy. I mean, in, in a way, you yeah. can't really blame Jennifer Lawrence. She's playing the role she's given but she is the A-lister she's the big draw to, like for the market like that's who they're marketing the movie to but are they're, people really going if people they are, that's though, the Jennifer Lawrence film 
they are, are people going because the, of that? She's getting the top I billing. I don't believe they are. I know she's getting top billing. And people people but, go to see it just because it's Jennifer Lawrence. You'll get some people who'll still go and see it because it's an X-Men film and hoping and praying that it's not as bad as some of the ones they remember. I, I cannot believe if it crosses three quarters of a billion at the box office. I'm pretty sure it salary did. was 50 million or whatever. It'll I be cannot believe that she yeah. is responsible for 50 million of that 750 she's million not. box office if she was taken out of it and replaced with someone else on a fraction which you can easily do because she's a fucking still, shapeshifter exactly it would have still grossed three quarters of a billion which I think is your point yeah, yeah that actually I'll, it's I'll, an I'll, I film that folk are going to see I also want to point out that it's not her it's not that I don't like her as an actress as well like she is a really good actress but I don't like her as Mystique I don't like the the way they've made the, her the sole focus of the films. Every one of them, she is integral to the plot. And she, she's not if, even B-list, let's be honest. You, if you've got a good story, yeah, folk will come. Look up The Lord of the Rings and how no one who was in that main cast was a household name. Very, f- very few of them, certainly. Like anyway. Ian McKellen. Yeah, very few of them. You look at them now and like, yeah, Orlando Bloom, he hadn't been in Pirates of the Caribbean or that no. yet. Elijah Wood hadn't really done anything. Viggo Mortensen hadn't done anything. So it's like, yeah. Even though Elijah Wood has not aged since that day. Yeah. He's a fucking vampire along with Would Nick Cage. Would you stick your head in the fans' breasts? Elijah Wood. Whoa! <laughs> Have you never seen those? <laughs> There's oh, loads of memes of it. Oh, it's hilarious because he's he a just walking does, meme. He does anything for fan photos. Eh? It's like, would you ride on your fans' back? Elijah Wood. Was <laughs> <laughs> he actually? Yeah, he does, yeah. <laughs> he does all these pictures. It's hilarious. If I remember correctly, Daniel Radcliffe's quite like that as well. I think, he? Yeah, he just he signs anything that people bring to him, even if it's some novelty bullshit. He just like, I've been looking forward to signing this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know what okay. he used to do during filming of um, all the all the movies? To be honest, he wore the same clothes or the same style of clothes every single yeah. day, I've seen so that, that if Paps caught him, it didn't look like anything. They didn't new. want they didn't want to know because it wasn't news. Yeah, because yeah. it was the same outfit. You'd was it? I think it was great. I think it was Graham Norton. Right? I think it was. He was on when he revealed that it uh, was one of his paparazzi tricks. Because someone had said to him, "I hear you've got some tricks for dealing with the paparazzi and dealing with the fame," and that's that's. I'm sure it was Graham Norton who was on. It was. Why would him wearing the same clothes? Because it's not news to them. Nobody's going to buy they don't a care. paper, and nobody's going to buy the picture. If he's wearing the exact same as all the other pictures, as far oh, as, yeah, yeah, as, far yeah. as uh, Joe Bloss is concerned, they've reused the same photo or the same photos from the same day. You know, they've just taken a bunch of photos. And it's in. also bland stuff he wears. It's like just a plain blay, grey beige or whatever it is beige. jumper, and that's it. Like proper Sam beige, yeah, <laughs> just beige with a hint of beige. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so I think they had they missed the chance here to recast. Oh yeah, Ed Mystique's character with someone that, like you were saying, is maybe cheaper and <laughs> wants to be there. Um, doesn't need isn't to be... just treating it as someone AD. needs a breakthrough like Daisy Ridley in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Cast Boyega, cast you know? cast an absolute nobody. If it doesn't work, it's a fucking shapeshifter. Recast them. Uh, nobody cares. Halfway through the fucking <laughs> film, you know Harry what? McFly style. You could cast Rebecca Romaine. There's because a ballsy move. That, she's that probably would re- still in decent shape. Better that would shape require than she some is. explaining the worst. I don't know Rachel of... Taylor. Kim Kardashian. What what explaining <laughs> would it would it require though? I mean, Cheetah, you, you want to try you want to try and keep her the same sorry age that she was already at. So it needs to be an actress of a similar age. Yeah, it could be any. Prosthetics actress. though can do wonders. CG, yeah. Trish CGI. CGI. From Jessica Jones. There's a good shout. Oh, that's a phenomenal shout. Yeah, that's a beautiful shout. Mm-hmm. And we've seen that she's got the acting chop sheet. But then it becomes an issue with uh, licensing laws with Marvel. But no, it doesn't, because... I suppose Josh Brolin, mm-hmm. Deadpool and Thanos. So. Yes. And there's no issue because it's separate universes. These actors aren't... Dangerous territory, though, yeah. isn't it? Mm-hmm. Conflicting. I don't know if it really is. They would, I think... You know, you know Deadpool what? is referencing that you, at some you, you, point. Come, you come to that, so say she does get the role as Mystique. You know what happens on the Netflix show? She gets fucking chopped because, well, how dare she go and do another awesome, Marvel? Yeah. Maybe because she's not quite bulletproof enough like Josh Brolin, but he's probably going to be given literally a glove by Deadpool and he'll be like, I got you this. He'll be like, oh yeah, fuck. It's got jewels in the knuckles. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's going to be, be like, some huh? ridiculous And he'll just throw it away. Fucking use is that? I put my heart and soul and mind and mind <laughs> into that. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at the camera, winks with the finger guns. <laughs> Evil quit. This is for you, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> you were the best Spider-Man. No one really believes that, though. Josh Brolin. 
as Cable. Mm, wasn't Do my first choice. Do you think that he looks kind of like some hipster dad trying to be cool with his fucking I'm down stupid with the kids, undercut? Yo. I'm <laughs> down with the kids, yo. Yeah, midlife crisis, like with a, a red convertible car, no doubt as well. If that's not in the film, I'll cry. I I, I just I think the way they've designed him and Domino looks really stupid. The Domino casting seems a strange one as well. It seems almost like they're trying to tick the diversity box. You know, oh, look, we've well, got. A... I, I see. I'm not saying that she might not be. I don't know. I don't know yeah, her work, so I don't we need know. To see if she's a good actress because it might have just been in the audition. They went. She, maybe they have seen something, but you know, from the outside looking in just now, it, in my opinion, it's it feels very much like. Well, we've got all these other categories. You know, we've got the blind woman. We've got this guy. We've got this guy. Oh, we've not really got anyone of colour. The blind woman hashtag drive by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they just, it feels very much like here's some forced diversification. But maybe she'll blow us all away. Mystique's fucking she'll blue. Certainly, she'll, certainly, forced diversification. she'll certainly blow something, I don't doubt. She's got to be phenomenal to make up for this because at the end of the day, Domino is as white as this fucking table. Well, a little bit black. And that is... thing is, yeah. But that's like the whole controversy around Finn Jones' Iron Fist and they're like oh it shouldn't but, have been a white guy and it's like but Danny Rand's white actually white yeah. yeah I never got that so, yeah because yeah, we had that we had that one of the why podcasts. is this yeah. such a controversy yeah. Yeah. I was like isn't he's meant to be fucking Asian and you're like no and I'm like oh right I've read Iron Fist Iron Fist 2 are Asian but Danny Rand is well it doesn't sound not Danny Rand they're immortal Iron Fist <laughs> thundering dumbass hashtag thundering dumbass we need Shang-Chi in the next next season we need to go next level with it. Any other movie news that you had there? That, that was it, to the, be honest. I've seen that and I went, oh, oh, so there was a new, There's a new uh, Suicide Squad director, allegedly. Is that like the fourth director? I can't remember his fucking name now. I just read it a little while ago. Oh, f- <laughs> Star, Star Wars Episode Nine's also lost its They've also That's going to be yes. Ryan Johnson. Colin yeah. Trevor is out of yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm just playing. Oh, it's oh, playing oh, real music. Oh, oh, I noise. Copyright him. Um, I'm just going to find the name real, real quick. Yeah, so the Suicide Squad has... Gavin O'Connor. That's the one. And talks to write and direct Suicide Squad 2. Any thoughts on that, chaps? We did a little bit of uh, write-up on it on the website. There's been a lot of trouble with the Suicide Squad sequel, um, Warner Brothers in general. I know some people don't really like the DCEU. What are you looking at me for? (laughs) <laughs> I didn't. Yes, I did. Um, I was, I really, lo- I was looking at me. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> the DC is. It's got. It's, fl- it's, it's, it's a mess. There's no it getting around it. It caused me to go full blown rant mode on a podcast and on the website. It's, it's, it's such a, a mess that it's going to take a lot of fixing, no matter how good Wonder Woman may have been. I don't think it's fixable until I, they. And I think they kind of feel that. Again, I think thing. that's kind of the yeah. mess. That, that's the direction they're going in. Is that they're going to scrap this current timeline? Just sell it all have, to Marvel and ha- <laughs> sell the rights back to Marvel. <laughs> they're going to have Flashpoint, which shouldn't be your first Flash film as well. I mean, Jesus Christ! Yeah, because you've got no parallels to compare it against. But yeah, you're going to have. So what? What does the stakes even matter if if you've got time you don't give a straight fuck. away? Yeah. Oh, so that that, that right. has to be that has to be a later on. You don't deal with time travel and being able to alter time and change timelines and. Make such a mess of things, but yeah, I think that's where the mess. That's their this solution. Also dreadful in the film, the whole mecha suit. Yeah, it's a weird choice, especially for his first suit. I know Bruce Wayne's given it to him. I bet he has. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you I actually thought, laughed at your own it. joke. <laughs> <laughs> I had to laugh because I just found it so funny. Here it comes, Bruce. <laughs> okay, based on the fact that Gavin O'Connor. Um, was connected to Warrior. I, this he's, gives he's done me some phenomenal work. Like he really has. And he's worked oh, with some really so big good. names, so he knows how to deal with a Will Smith who who took over Suicide Squad, it feels it, yeah. it felt to me at times. It was a Will Smith Margot Robbie show a lot yeah, of times. And it needed to be more Margot Robbie than it had to be Will Smith. It needed but, to be more Captain Boomerang. <laughs> it needed to be more Jared Leto. No. Well no. even Jared Leto said that he's got about half an hour's worth of footage that's been cut from the film. And I, I I didn't hate the Joker. I hate how he looks. I hate that gangster. I hated the emo part of the Joker where he's all upset about Harley Quinn. He doesn't give a fuck about Harley. No, Quinn. it kind of does tie into how he treats it because it's she's his, and if he doesn't have her, 
then but he wouldn't mope around there. it he would be smiling they took it a, they took it in a little bit of a weird direction yeah. but it still does kind of work for me I didn't hate his portrayal of the Joker but how, was, how they made him look which isn't Jared Little. to cash in on the whole current trend of superhero team up oh yeah no question that was the only reason for you know it was yeah. a ballsy move from them though make a villain central film I know they weren't really villains should have been villains from hero movies like you needed to first. see the characters yeah. first and yeah. I still don't think it was all that ballsy given things like Game of Thrones now where actual and Breaking Bad and all these other shows where actually villains are more interesting Sons of Anarchy yeah. you know, you've and got that's why like, outlaws, there's a standalone Venom film coming now and all that kind of stuff yeah well what made <laughs> what made the villain that way that's always been the more interesting Stone thing Stone Steve Austin I'm good because I'm just cause, good. yeah. Because that's why Superman's so hard to write for, yeah. Because he's too good. He's too. It's why a lot of people don't like Superman as a hero. I, I personally, he's not my favorite superhero. I don't hate him, but it's hard to identify with someone who's just yeah. perfect. You know, he's just. But I think Henry Cavill manages. He's to a great. Get it. He has a great yes. Superman. He, yeah. he's, you see, like, he's, he's struggling the with his humanity. Killing Zod thing. I know a lot of folks didn't Wait, said it was against his character I was yeah but I <laughs> honestly think that the dilemma they put him in I was like yeah he had no other way out and it actually makes it more realistic yeah I think yeah there was I, no alternative if he didn't yeah. kill him in that moment that family were going to die and it was on his it was literally yeah. in his hands that was, that was one thing I noticed in Batman versus Superman you know that Razzie magnet was the Batman killed willy nilly I don't And I really hate liked that. Willie. He was a great character. But no, he was going around killing Willie like, all the time. That ties into the fact that this is a broken Batman years after he suffered the big heartbreak of losing a Robin and however many other Robins he's probably lost. He didn't he... lose him though. That Robin became the Joker. That's another fan theory for another day. <laughs> and yeah. that is a quality fan theory which could actually I... explain away why there would be two Jokers because obviously this week we also heard about and we managed to jump over uh, jump past uh, the Star Wars thing there but we heard that um, oh, Martin God, Scorsese is fuck you is connected to a new I Joker think. origin film oh, with potentially with yeah. well everyone keeps on going oh it's going to be Leonardo DiCaprio and I it probably it be. won't be it can't be he'd be too old to play young Joker I mean, well that's like he is too old to play young Joker and also he's refused every other superhero film probably for a reason I don't think he's going to start now the only thing that would make me buy it is that he'd be like you know what I could do a good job like Jack Nicholson did now if he because the Joker Jared Leto although he is 40 he's not much younger than Ben Affleck but he seems like he's about he looks 30. a lot younger yeah, yeah, he... yeah so if you imagine that the Joker that we got on Suicide Squad is not the Joker like the gangster Joker he's that would have been kind of yeah, Tindra, he, uh, not Tindra, Jason Todd. Yes. Yeah, he's take he's taken on the mantle of the Joker, want, and that's a way you can have a separate. Oh, would you not pay to see that? I would pay for that fucking film, Red Hood. Can I'm I not know. offering to finance the whole film, Red but Hood I would pay to see that film. That would be awesome, Red Hood and the Outlaws. Red Hood, Red Arrow, Starfire. I no, I only know one of the names there. Well, think of Red Arrow, who he could possibly be. Yeah, I know. Right, but who's Starfire? Uh, she's an alien. She gets. Oh, caught. is she the one? She's the she's in the one. cartoon you you gave me to watch. The, yes, yes. She, she she's lead, co- she's she, cool. She she's, leads the Titans. Yeah. Alien girls are cool. And, she, and she's Deadline <laughs> Grayson. That yeah. becomes that becomes a d- difficult one if you want to try and keep your heroes human. Yeah. Who would you choose to play the Joker in the? 80s style gangster young Joker origin film who's not Leonardo DiCaprio who's also not Tom Hardy <laughs> who's also <laughs> not Michael Fassbender well, he, even in or those style type of guys we always choose you, would, would be, uh, oh for fuck I was, like, <laughs> that's why I was smiling at you thought, I thought you were going to say who's not Charlie no Ram. I couldn't even <laughs> say why <laughs> you, you gave him that like, no! you practically fed him yeah, that you were like he Sorry, I, I thought you would have figured out the fact that I mentioned a whole bunch of really good actors. My pick for Young Hoodman Joker. I even think though that things like DiCaprio and that, even in the eighties style film, that's not him. I think he would have to do a Heath Ledger style Joker. Like, I think he could do an Oscar winning Joker don't doubt, I don't if he wanted it, yeah. to do so. DiCaprio. I don't think but he I does. Don't, so. I don't think he does. Now, Joy I... Baker. Who? <laughs> What? He does. does a, he's no. He's a voice actor for mostly video he's games. He's going to be does, at MCM in a couple of weeks. 
in Glasgow. So will we. Come and say hello. You should go see Hello Town. Needs, yeah. needs to be someone really I'm the one with the foam swords. It could be Isaac Hempstead White. Evan <laughs> Rion <laughs> from uh, Game of uh, Thrones. Like... Ramsey Bolton. Evan Rion. Is he going to be there? No, that's that's what that would I be my pick he's... for the Joker. Uh, I think he's at risk of just being typecast. Type type so yeah, if he does something yeah. a bit different, e.g. Joker, which is still <sighs> villain... But no, it's still it's, manic it's, villain. Yeah, like, he's, he's already running. Like he's already in there. So why not just pitch a tent there and just live in it, embrace it, be Johnny Depp, play that one role. For Tom Cruise. I don't. Well, I'm about to get kicked out. I think, but I don't <laughs> think Johnny Depp's all that great. I've said that in this. He's not, but is, he's not the best. But he, he does. He does character. his role very well. He does his role very well. No, I think he does. There's a, nothing. He does a few that. characters. He but he's not been good for a while. He gets fed. He's, 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 all of his characters are slightly zany folk wearing makeup. Outsiders. Every single one. And an earpiece. Not yeah. quite all of them. Donny Brasco, I think for we've kind of veered into another... But we have veered off, yeah, a, 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 have veered veered off. off the, the reservation. I think we've veered into the wrap-up zone. Wrap-up yeah. zone. Well, goddamn, we've not been managed One other comic thing. In Infinity War, will they finally kill off a major character Thor. and if so who I've been saying Thor from since uh, having the seen the trailer for Infinity War I don't think there's going to be a main character who, from the current roster who makes it to Infinity War oh really I've not I've, I've, I'm, I've not, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it on the actual podcast just now but if you wish to hear I will tell you afterwards no I don't I don't no. want it because you can watch it's, the it's a huge spoiler for the trailer uh, for upcoming films I think we're going to see the end of a, a big name character from the main cast before we see Infinity War roll around. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, well, given that there's someone only Ragnarok and Black there. Panther coming up, then uh, you've, you've not left us a huge amount. But mm-hmm. yeah, we'll maybe stray off this. Well, do you know what? And... Nearly at the end of the podcast, you know where to follow us and all that kind of stuff. Go with the spoiler. Huge Switch spoiler off now. Alert. Switch off now. Huge spoiler alert. Hulk dies at the end of Ragnarok. He's not in the trailer for Infinity War. Thor is floating through space by himself and is picked up by the Guardians. There is no image, reference or anything of Hulk. And at the end of the Ragnarok trailer you see Hulk Did you know what facing down Surtur. I think he dies at the end of Ragnarok. I, I, I think Thanos might come for death for Hela and his, Smite him. his gift to Hela is to cripple the Hulk to kill the Hulk well I said this I said that killing the Hulk raises the stakes it takes it to another level because he's unkillable the Hulk raises the stakes completely they're both the most OP especially if it's done so easily and that's what it'll have to be just a twist of the neck or something and Hulk's gone and I believe that is what happens and Ragnarok is completed and Asgard is dead 3rd of November we'll find out and I suppose that would make sense because they can't make a Hulk film because Universal still There's has some a lot sort of rights to it tricky rights around it it's also so very very difficult, difficult to, to expensive to do it. expensive yeah. as well I would have thought that uh, Mark Ruffalo being on his set of Infinity Wars would be a, a misdirection could be there's pictures of him on set yeah, there is pictures done, of him on set they've done that on Game of Thrones and stuff as well though where they've brought back like Shea, Shea and stuff and wondering and, about it, yeah. did they? just visiting and the set and in full costume they had their when she visited the costume. set just as like uh, throwing people off and the paparazzi off and everything like that oh and I never did. I mean of course this, uh, that could be completely wrong it could just be he's got loads of footage he's it's just a, not in the trailer to be fair I've seen that bit with Thor hitting the windshield as well in Guardians and I haven't put that those links together it makes so much sense I watched having watched the whole I have launches Thor just before Thanos arrives it's his big sacrifice he saves Thor's life mm-hmm. before Asgard is destroyed and that's why Thor has why? to Earth just for hero's sake yeah get hero's back. death it's kind of like grabs him get back to Earth <sighs> war and others type thing yeah see I think the, I, I'm sure I saw something because Thor because uh, Hulk can speak ah well he speaks in the trailer yes Mm. Yeah. I'm sure I saw something where Thanos <laughs> is grabbing his, grabbing trailer, Thor's yeah. face. He's, he holds got a hold him, of he's him. Hold of him by the head, yeah. So I'm pretty. As soon as I saw that, because I start, I think I started to watch the leaked trailer. Then I was like, Nah, fuck I have this. watched it so many times. I don't even want to count it. It's. I cannot wait to see it again, like on the big screen. But my God, it is. See, I've, I've not. I've only. I only saw that bit, and I was like, No, I'm not watching. I'm I wait. They're showing it with Thor, aren't they? But I, I think you're right. So. I think. I think he kills Thor. 
I'm not saying that you're not right. Yeah, because that's well, he'll kill, fucking he'll good kill too. Thor in Infinity War. Uh, I and don't... kill Hulk. Hulk's dead Fuck in Ragnarok. Hell. But I think there's the there's another scene so in the tra- there's another yeah. scene in the trailer where you see some of the heroes they look broken and defeated, and you see Star Lord like grimacing, like, just broken. And I believe that might be when we've seen Thor, the most powerful remaining member, except Scarlet Witch, killed, just broken. I want to. I'm so presuming that how they beat Thanos. Doctor Strange helps unlock Scarlet Witch's powers to the to level do- that she is in the. No more mutants. Yeah. Just different tier because she is. She is a different tier to the rest. Of no more Thanos. <laughs> Thing is, she her power comes from an Infinity Stone. So, Does it? And, yes. All oh, right. Anyway, so it's, yeah. time is ticking on. Um. It's been a short movie news tonight, but we're just kind of riffing on some things. We want to hear what you guys think. It's definitely a hang, hashtag hang. You know, so who would you choose as the Joker? We threw about a few names there. I'd like your idea for um, What's His Balls. (laughs) What's His Balls, Ibn Vion, the boy Ramsey from Game of Thrones. Whoever plays Sam Tarly. What's his name? (laughs) You want him for the Joker? (laughs) That's nice. (laughs) Oh, hello. Um, I want to pick Ed Sheeran. For Android. For Android. Right, we've picked, we picked our jokers. Who have you picked? That's what we want to know. Same Game of Thrones theme here. Who's who's the first Avenger that will die, if any? Is it going to be the Hulk? I suggest by Kev. I'm pretty sure... But I've called Thor. You've called Thor from last year. I said Hulk or the Thor, but... Uh, Hulk or the Thor? The Hulk or Thor, but I'll stick with Thor. Yep. Um with Bucky picking up the shield thereafter to keep the Cap franchise going in movie form. I don't think Cap's going to have his shield. He'll get it back. Yeah, he will. It's, it's for the, for the right. showdown. You you think Cap. I think... I think... I, as much as I like yours, I really think it might be Thor first. I think Thor will get a bigger emotional response than Hulk. If they kill no none, person. it'll be a missed opportunity. If Thanos can't kill, kill, you'll kill, you'll you'll kill them all. You'll if, kill them all. If, if Thanos can't kill any of them, no villain can kill any of them. You'll I mean, kill them all, but they'll, they'll, fix it, they'll fix it with time travel because that's what they'll do. Uh-huh. Well, there's a, there's a, yeah, yeah, carry on. Let's uh, sign off. Thanks for listening, guys. You'll find me at the still be the usual places. You'll find us at the Bucky Podcast Blog WordPress.com. Again? No, we've not got time. Okay. And that's what happens when Dad needs to go home. <laughs> Paul <laughs> signing off as well. Kev, Kermath, Kezijin, you'll find me at all the usual social medias. I think that's us. We're done. We're taking off. Yes, I do. (laughs) You'll find me everywhere at the Buff Geek on all the social medias and at the Buff Geek Podcast blog dot wordpress dot com. I like to slow things down sometimes when I'm talking because I don't actually know what I'm about to say. (laughs) Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. Harry Styles. Harry Styles should be the next Joker. You want to know about these scars? Well, I'll tell you. My father, he was a very aggressive man. He was a drunk. Sometimes. He'd get very upset. That's all you're getting.